welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Sean, and I'm back with another video. So I'm going to be sharing with you guys this really glowy and soft spring makeup look. And also because I've been wearing this makeup look in quite a few videos lately, and you guys have gone crazy about it, especially this lippy. I've gotten more questions, comments, DMs about this lippy than any other lipstick I've ever rocked on my channel ever. So I thought, why not show you with you guys exactly how I came up with this lip combo and also how I got the entire makeup look. So if you want to see how I got this beat, then you definitely want to keep watching. So before I start applying makeup to my face, I definitely want to moisturize. So I'm actually going to be using this moisturizer right here, which was sent to me from Kiehl's. This is their Glow Formula Skin Hydrator. This bad boy is awesome. You can use it alone. You can mix some of it in with your moisturizer, or you can even mix some of it in with your foundation. I'm actually going to be putting it on my face alone, but I'm also going to mix a little bit in with my foundation as well. It does so many great things for your skin. It's got a lot of skin uh, illuminating minerals to it. It's 95% natural. Natural. It's just so many great benefits. It's supposed to provide you with 24 hour hydration. So I'm loving the luminescent glow that it gives my skin. So I'm going to put a little bit, a lot of it. <laughs> I'm going to apply this on my face just to give me that nice little lit from within glow. And you guys will be able to see it on camera. It's like, it's not like an in your face shimmer. But it does give you a bit of a little golden undertone, a little bit of a golden glow that I really like. Yeah. Makes your skin so hydrated. It's such a luxe little product. I love anything that's decadent like this. It's silicone free and it's also paraben free. Mmm, look at that. Oh, my skin already looks hydrated. I wanted this product because, you know, I do heated yoga and you can't wear makeup in there unless you want to look like the Joker when you get out. But I also am going to be going on spring break next week for vacation and I wanted a good glowy moisturizer that I could wear poolside without having to wear a full face of makeup. You guys, can you see that glow already? Like, <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. Look how hydrated my skin looks. And you can see that little subtle bit of a glow to it. So next up, I'm going to do a little bit of color correcting. i got a lot of new products, as you guys can tell, that I'm going to be playing with in this video as well. But I have had this before, and this is the color that I wore all the way to pan. But I'm just going to be going in and just correcting my dark circles. So I have been working on my skin lately and definitely trying to correct the uh, areas in my face that have hyperpigmentation. Thumbs up this video or let me know in the comment section if you guys want me to share with you how I'm correcting uh, hyperpigmentation on my face and I'll get that video out to you guys really soon as well. But I'm just going in. Now that I've worked on my skin so much, I don't need as much color correcting as I used to. So that's awesome as well. And I love this peachy one. Um, I used to use a really orange color corrector because that's what all the cool kids were doing. <laughs> but that doesn't work for me anymore. That's one of the things that I learned from Destiny Godly here on YouTube is that I really needed a peachy tone color corrector. The orange doesn't really work for my skin tone. Just because something works for your favorite beauty guru doesn't mean it, it works for you. And so I was using the orange because everybody else was using the orange, but I needed this. Because if you're color correcting properly, from what I learned, <laughs> um, it should almost look like your complexion. It shouldn't look like a bunch of orange on your face. It should just look but almost like you could wear this out. So the only thing I have on my face right now is a little bit of color corrector and this Glow Formula Skin Hydrator. And look how glowy and youthful and just, I love the way this looks on my skin. This is the product I've been wanting. Something that will really make my dry skin look dewy but not greasy. Just give me a nice lit from within glow. So anyway, I'm gonna keep the whole, I'm gonna keep the glow party going by adding a little bit of it to my foundation. I'll be sure to link all the products that I use below. So I'm just gonna place a little bit of this on here. This is new, so I'm gonna pour out pretty quickly. I don't even think I need as much foundation because I like the way that the color corrector really does my skin. But I'm just gonna add a little pump of the glow formula on the foundation. So I'm just gonna stir it up so that it's properly mixed. And then I'm just gonna just make sure that I'm really blending it in right so I can get this nice glow in with my foundation. Then I'm just gonna dot this all over my face. So next I'm going to go in with this blending sponge and just pat it all over my face. Mm -hmm. 
Oh my goodness. Look at that. <sighs> I love it. I'm loving the results. This looks like just beautiful, natural skin. All right, so I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see the eye look and I'm gonna keep this makeup party going. So next I'm gonna add this paint pot to my lids. All right, so now it's time to add some color to the eyes. I'm gonna be going in with this beautiful orangey color right here. All the products that I'm gonna be using will be listed below. I'm gonna take this fluffy brush and add that orange color. So next I'm going to be adding this color which is right underneath right here, placing that on with this little blending brush. So now I'm going to go in with that same paint pot that I use and I'm just going to carve out my lids a little bit. Go in with this color right here. Now I'm going to line my eyelids using an angle brush. So right here on my brow bone, I'm just gonna add this shimmery color right here. All right, so I'm gonna pop on some lashes and I'll be right back. All right, so I'm gonna add a little bit of mascara to my lower lashes, and I'm gonna clean everything up underneath the eyes. So I always do a sloppy job with this. Also gonna add a little bit to my upper lashes so that I can help to blend in the falsies. Would you guys see, falsies really make a difference when you apply them. I mean, the eyeshadow always looks good on its own, but eyelashes really make things pop. Without the eyelashes, it's a party. When you add the lashes, it's a party. <laughs> Just to make my under eye area pop, I'm gonna be going in with this bad boy right here. Gonna add a little bit underneath. This is brand new, so that's why it's looking all like unused. <laughs> but yeah, I told you guys I bought a bunch of new makeup. So I'm just trying out some stuff. I've had this before, but I ran out. So I had to re-up. Because this is one of my favorite under eye concealers. I'm also going to put a little bit on my chin and just right here on my nose. Then I'm going to go in with a damp beauty blender. It's already damp, but I'm going to put a little bit of um, a setting spray over top of it just to help it blend even better. I'm just going to pounce that on the face. Then I'm also going to be adding a little bit here above my lip. I saw Jackie Ina do this and I really like the way it looked on her so I'm going to try it out. I'm going to put a little bit of a lip conditioner on my lips before I add my lip stuff. And while that's soaking in, I'm going to go ahead and set my face. I'm going to be using this as my all over powder. And then underneath my eyes, I'm going to be using this powder here. This is actually a damp beauty blender. I 
I don't typically bake. I just put it on here. I don't like to leave it here. I don't put a whole lot. I just put it underneath my eyes. But I don't put a whole lot of product and I don't really bake it as well as much as I just really just apply it. For me personally, baking doesn't really make a difference for my skin for some reason, so I don't see the need to do it. It's just like an added step that I can omit, so. And I know it's looking a little ashy. It's gonna look even better once I set it, but don't worry. You know what, I will put a little bit on my chin. And my nose. <laughs> And my forehead. All right, so now I'm gonna add a little bit of blusher. And for my blush, I'm gonna be using this one here. This really pretty color right here. Such a pretty color. Everything's gonna look better once I set it. So don't worry about it looking ashy. Trust me, you gotta trust the process, okay? Such a pretty color. I love this blush, oh my gosh. Where have you been all my life? Works so well with this particular makeup look. Comment below what's your favorite part of putting on makeup. Is it the lipstick, the lashes? What's your favorite part? For me, it's the highlight. Cause I love the glow. More than you know, I love the glow. So anyway, trying some, well not trying, but I'm using this um, highlighter right here just to add, enhance that glow even more. Because there is no such thing as too much glow. Shout out to my OG subscribers that have really watched my makeup game improve. Because I've really gotten a lot better. I'm no makeup artist, honey. Let's make no mistake. <laughs> but I've gotten a lot better at makeup application. Thanks to all the beauty gurus here on YouTube. Jackie Aina, Destiny Godly. Um, Lip Shock back in the day. All right, so anyway, let's go ahead and put some lip stuff on. Now this is the lippy that everybody's been asking me about. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how I create this really beautiful mauve nudie lip. So I'm gonna be using, this is a lip pencil in like a purpley plum type color. I'm gonna use that to line my lips. My Cupid's bow is not really like defined defined, but we fake it till we make it. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with this really pretty lip color right here. It's like a mauve pink type color. This is the game changer right here. <laughs> this is bae. <laughs> this is bae. Is that my George Bush voice? This is bae. I also do a good Obama. This is bae. This is bae. Let me stop. <laughs> All right. So I know it's almost there. This is the piece de resistance. Gonna put a little bit of this lippy over top of it. It's gonna give it that milky type, you know, watch. So you trust the process, look. See? Mm, 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 mm. It's for them cars that be bumping. Roxanne, Roxanne. Mm. Then I'm gonna set everything to get this sort of like cakey look away from me. I'm gonna be using this setting spray right here. It's kind of in a rosy scent. and everything is gonna melt and be fabulous. All 
Alright, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Be sure to thumbs up if you did. Also, huge thank you to Kiehl's for sponsoring this video and also for sending me over their Glow Formula Skin Hydrator. As you guys see, my skin definitely looks hydrated. It's definitely given me that lit from within glow that I absolutely love. That glow is going to be perfect for spring and summer, so you definitely want to get your hands on it. I'll be sure to link it below so you guys can go ahead and purchase yours. But anyway, I love you guys and I'll see you all in the next video. Until next time, later divas and dudes. Deuces, honey. Thank you.